guys, Scrappers. Welcome back to another What's Inside Scrap Breakdown video. Uh, basically what I like to do is when I find items in the trash that I'm uh, are a little unfamiliar to me, uh, I like to break them down for the first time so I can see what's in them. That way I know if it's worth my time to recover them, to get whatever scrap metal out of them I can, or to maybe sometimes just clip the cord and move on with my life. So then I document them, post them on YouTube. That way if uh, you come across similar items and you're wondering what's inside, you know. So here we go, here's how we start. Uh, and we got a cool one this time, instant power. This is one of those uh, car battery booster things. And when I found this, I was actually kind of excited because I thought maybe it worked, but uh, it does not. Uh, this is a nice one, it's got the lights, it's got you know the plug-in thing. And you see it's got some damage right there, which is probably why it was in the trash. And I noticed a big, oh, it's got a thing there, big crack on the back, so. Um, it is definitely trash, not working, not uh, not a keeper, not a seller, um, pure on scrap metal. So uh, I did want to mention when you see these in the trash, um, they may not look like they're worth it. They are definitely worth picking up. I have picked these up before. Um, I've even seen people cut these cords before. And then you just see this plastic thing sitting there and you think, well, that's just plastic. It's not worth it. Um, but it is. There's a little battery inside there. That's really going to be what we want. We'll see if there's anything else in there since it's got a light and some other stuff. But, uh, yeah, cool. Let's break it down. Let's see what's inside. Um, by the way, uh, these are not copper. They very seldom are. Um, if you ever come across jumper cables and stuff like that, they're always copper looking. Never copper. Let's do it. And I typically like to share the brand and model number, but this one uh, I don't see much. Instant Power. XP 400. There you go. I bet you could Google that. In fact, I might do that. It's probably a probably a Walmart or an AutoZone type of thing. So here we go to get started. We've just got uh, this is going to be a real easy breakdown. Hopefully, um, a few screws, all Phillips, nothing special. So let me get these guys out real quick, and that should open our case up, and we'll see what the inside looks like. All right, there we go. That was it. A few screws. This can be our first look. Uh, inside when like I said we should find us a nice battery inside and there it is perfect okay so that's a lead acid battery um, just like a car battery only it's a little bit smaller but that's uh, that's kind of why you want to pick these up as always have decent return um, in addition we got some copper bearing wires or cable in here I see some boards one two we got a little something right now oh, there's a little transformer so let me clear all this out and we'll do a complete uh, complete uh, review here. I'll just lay it all out. That's the big thing. I mean, that's that's what the majority of it is and what we want. The rest is plastic. Uh, you can throw in your recycle bin. So let's see what's up. All right, there's our plugs for our plug-in. And uh, I'm just going to have to try to yank them out here. Hang on. All right, just a kind of a safety reminder. I mean, this is a this is a battery, a lead acid battery, so you do want to check out for that corrosion and all that stuff. Um, wear gloves, which <laughs> wear gloves uh, for sure, and just you always want to be careful. But uh, anyway, let's keep clipping, unscrewing, and we'll see what we got. Looks like we're gonna have some decent copper um, on these on these cables, so. Um, I'm gonna unhook this, and I don't have my uh, all my stuff handy. I'm gonna go get it, but I think I'm just gonna be able to do it right here with my. There we go. I can just do this with my snippers. So so far, it's taking me just a few minutes. Uh, and the other thing that's cool is everything, all those, one screwdriver. Now, when it comes to getting the cable out of the end of these, there's a lot of different ways uh, that I've seen them. These actually, if you squeeze them open, you'll see that they actually have uh, two Phillips in there. So I'm gonna start with those and see what that does. All right, that actually worked perfect uh, when I unscrewed that. And the other thing I had to do is I had to take my screwdriver and I had to pop it up underneath this uh, metal spring, uh, which basically knocked that off. And now I'm gonna be able to uh, pull my cable right out of there and or trim that. And that's it, everything's broke out the uh, in an instant, the instant power battery car jumper thingamabob uh, is trash now. So that's our plastic. Uh, we're gonna hopefully be able to recycle most of that. Jump right over here. This is all our shred, our light iron, just those big uh, springs there, a bunch of little screws, not too much. 
do got one little uh, switch. Now the switch is the only thing I haven't broke down yet. Um, I just kind of throw those all in a big thing together and then one day I'll crack all those open because little pieces go flying and there's uh, silver connectors and or copper in those sometimes. That's what that's all about. A couple little boards, nothing special at all. Really crappy boards, really. And we'll take that off. There's a little monolithic ceramic capacitor right there. I'll pull. These were low grades. So I will take those off. If it was high grade, I wouldn't do anything with it, but of course it's not. And a little switch. We got copper right there, so I'll take this guy off. Um, little brass. Where am I? Little brass right here. The transformer. That's kind of a decent one. I'll probably probably get the copper out of that. Um, these I'm actually calling copper bearing. <laughs> this is uh I always snap those off. There's a bunch of copper inside those, so I'm able to throw those in a very low-grade copper-bearing kind of bucket. Heat shield, or a little shield that was on that board. It's aluminum. This is the wire, the real thin stuff, kind of worthless stuff. Um, two bigger pieces that I'm not going to strip, but um, I have to separate them out better than those. And then here's our our cable cords now those are nice that i will strip um i do everything by hand i don't have a stripper but uh these won't be too bad to do i can cut those and get that copper out of there pretty easy so that was a good score for me and then of course the real thing is this battery there we go lead acid battery and a few pounds um definitely um i don't know four pounds maybe five pounds who knows but that's it that's what's inside if i see another one will i pick it up and will i break it down this way yep i will it's worth it to me is it worth it to you that's for you to decide and that's kind of what this video is all about so there you go it really was only a few minutes um again be looking for those in the trash i always think they're valuable and and, and sometimes even when they don't have these people will cut these off like sometimes you'll see like when they cut off vacuum cleaner cores and stuff i have seen these cut off before um, but don't think this is just a hunk of plastic. Um, this battery is always inside and it is really easy to get out, guys. So there we go. If you got any questions, please let me know. If you got any advice, definitely let me know. Uh, if you like the video, check out the, some of my others. I got a playlist set up for scrap breakdowns. Plus, I got a bunch of garbage picking, a bunch of stuff like that. So um, appreciate all the feedback. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All that cool stuff. As always, happy scrapping. Thank you. Thank you very much.